Hmm. Blank, except for the image of a key. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key, but we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say. The master key. This should get me into the West Wing. They should open most rooms in the manor, including the Forbidden West Wing. <laughs> the Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm, I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number, but which one? Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Need to search the rest of the manor for the clues to the combination. Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid egg...
thought. This is strangely beautiful. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors, and I shall not open them again until either my life or my obstinacy comes to an end. The night before, Roth told me I would someday change my mind. Like a broken arm cast in plaster, he said. The wound would heal, and we would someday shed the bandages to be whole again. The metaphor made me furious. The clumsy way he cast our loss off as nothing more than an inconvenience. There is wisdom in his rough words, but I've done what I must. Perhaps one day, Lara will throw back the doors to let the sun shine in again. Maybe she will find her own sense of peace in this place. At least that old thing still works. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. The inscription is faded. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather, or maybe Griffin. He was more infamous a croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favors a, a classic. So... Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th, Mum's birthday. Hmm, pretty sure my parents were married in October. I think it was close to her birthday. <laughs> Mum on her wedding day. She looks so beautiful. There's a date, October something, Tam, the number is faded. The anniversary was in October, but which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to After be another clue somewhere. Done, how could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, Trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me. Tonight. I will take care of Atlas. And then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. I 
I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Hmm, looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. Mum's atelier. Dad sealed it soon after she died. Untouched for years, exactly as she left it. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. How could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue, written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed... I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mum died too young. Mum with me as a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that... Hmm, blocks of red. Dad's favorite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. You've almost got it, darling. Here, let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. I still have so much of Mum's work. Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but all is well. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen Richard so happy, 
I'm sure he'll be celebrating with his favourite whisk. This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm. It says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I wonder what happened with that. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here. And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. Okay, found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favourite one among them. A simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy. And... I was going home. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by a... I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge.
the pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. I remember this now. Each district... The f I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. It. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. Mm, no, that's not it. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. It. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. For God. I, re I remember this. Dad gave it to Mom on her birthday. Remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had. I remember. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. So it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. Didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. That worked. It makes me happy to know that Dad kept us safe. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow waiting for me to find her. Dad, what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Handwritten. This is the only copy. Damn, this isn't it either. 
I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? Hmm, a blank page. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. hidden message. A, A hidden message. What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. Hmm. Hmm. A blank page. Remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. A hidden message. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. hidden message. hidden message. 